Hello guys, good night. This is Josh. Um, today I want to try to solve this. I want to. I, wanna, I actually already did solve it, but I want to kind of go through this problem because this set is it is easy. It actually actually is an easy problem once you understand it. But the first time I kind of looked at it, I was like, "What do they mean by this and that?" And I didn't really. It, it took me some time. Like I don't know. 10 or 15 minutes to wrap my head around it. So, so I kind of wanted to go through this and, and try to, to see if I can reason again. So let's, let's do. So moving, so the problem is moving average from data stream. Um, given a stream of integers and a window size, calculate the moving average of all integers in sliding window. This is a bit confusing for me because for, uh, given a stream of integer, well, first of all, he doesn't, I think on purpose, but he doesn't give you the data structure. So he asks you to, to, to create a data structure that you think it's more appropriate. Um, second of all, he says, given a window size and the window size, it, uh, what he means by that is just a number. So you have a stream of integers, you have a bunch of integers, it could be 100, 100 integers that you already received in your stream, and you wanna calculate the, the average of all the integers in the sliding window. But the sliding window, where does it start from or, or, or to? So it doesn't really say. And after I kinda of spent some time here, I kinda of understood that he meant that the sliding window is, the, the, is basically from the end. So, your um, so what he means here is that uh, you're you basically it, it's basically a queue, right? So so you you receiving numbers, you're you're appending numbers to a queue. So you receive. So what what happens here is that, like for example, on this on this example of his his um, right. So on this example. He start this object with a side windows window number window of three, right? So he receives one, and then he receives ten, and then he receives five, three, and then he receives five, and then his sliding window is three, his size, uh, and then he basically wants you to calculate the average of the last three numbers of your uh, stream. So if you keep receiving numbers here, 7, 8, 12, 13, you're always going to calculate the, the average of the last three. So after you kind of understand this, it kind of get, it gets easy. So, right, so like I said, I used a, a, a data, I used a data structure it was a um, size in the queue, right? Uh, let me, yeah, this one. What is a data structure that is size in a queue? So you were, so always ending to the end of the, calculating the average of the the size number of items starting from the End of the queue, right? So, hmm. and then, and then that that's pretty much it. So, so there's not much to it once you kind of understand what this what he means by that. So, so, so this is kind of what it looks like. So this size, size and initiated. So. An empty queue, right? And here, uh, what you want to do on this next is well, 
you wanna um, well you can you can basically create some variables referring to the as in Q just so it is your template uh, you to the Q calculate the current sum the size number of items from the end and return the average which is the, the current sum divided divided by the the uh, divide basically basically divided by the 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 q minus size so because th this will get like for example if you, if you size is number two so you're gonna get the whatever is from the the, the minus two items from the list, the, the, the last two items, so they, they, this is what it does. So, so, so this is quite easy. So let's let's do this. So, so you wanna declare size in a queue here just to make it easy for you to, to play with these guys. Um, so you wanna append. You wanna, now you want to calculate the current sum. I'm going to use this variable from this computing from, from Python just to make our life easier. Size. And then here I can just return it. So I uh, return current sum divided by the length of the Q size. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm. So yeah. This uh, this is this is my trip. Index out of range. Why? Why is that? Why do I get this? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I mistyped, and it seemed like a, a index out of range. But yeah, no, 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 not. And that's it. Let's say, like I said, it's easy problem. It's basically you, I wrote six lines. Not the best runtime, but I mean it's not horrible. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, see you next time.